Hello and welcome to November 2019 of PS Plus's first game, which is Neo. Um, there's only four more games left this year, and this is the first. So that was the intro, um, and I, I I don't know kind of how the menus go or anything like that. So I guess I'll just so the two images of the same intensity. I don't know. That'll be fine. Right, game mode, action mode. Movie mode, movie right wait. Oh, it's all about frame rate and stuff. Uh, so what's the difference? Oh, that's. I don't know. Okay. Do you want to finish configuring the settings and proceed to the title screen? Standard advanced settings can be changed in the system menu. That's fine. <laughs> Here we are, Neil. Okay, so Neo was developed by Team Ninja and it was released in 2017. It's taken up 55.2 gigabytes and it was a PlayStation exclusive, but it is also now available on PC. Um, Google says it's an action RPG and I say it is Japanese Dark Souls. So it's like exactly like Dark Souls, but it is. Oh god, the video's playing again. But it is similar. It's got its own, its own take on the Souls genre. Um, I'm gonna press a button so that it doesn't start again. Okay. Um, new game, continue. Load game system. That's okay. So, my experience with Neo is basically none. I haven't watched it. Um, all I've done is they had the Neo 2 open beta the other month, or maybe it would have been this month if I'd done this on time. Um, no, I think it was in end of October. So then it was like a week before we got this game on PS Plus, I think. So, I actually played that. And it was like good. I really liked it. It was like the visuals were lush. Like you got to make your own character, which was like the character creation was amazing. It was a really good character creator. Um, I didn't get very far, but anyone who has watched anything I've done will know that I'm not very good at these type of games. So I will. I'll jump into this and I'll see how it goes because I mean I got further than I thought I would in, in the beta so I got to the second shrine <laughs> so but then I didn't get to a boss or anything we'll see how this one goes to the far east lies Zipangu a land brewing with golden palaces and sparkling jewels Kulabi Khan ruler of Mongol Empire sent a large army there but the warriors of Zipangu used miraculous stones to put up a strong defense. The travels of Marco Polo chapter 6 
So this is based in like an alternate history. That's really cool. The Tower of London is in Port is an imposing fortress built by King William I in order to keep London safe. It, is, it has since gone on to be used as a prison for traitors and execution grounds for criminals. Londoners believe that many crows living within its walls were... Londoners believe that if many crows, if the many crows living within the walls were to abandon it, the tower would collapse and London itself would be destroyed. That's true. Well, I don't know the history facts but the crow thing's true i was there the um in the summer it was very good the crows are really cool so queen elizabeth hired irish pirates and they helped her win against the Spanish Armada. That's what I got from that. And I guess we are the pirate? Maybe? Oh, are we Irish? I thought this was Japanese. It seems death won't stop chasing me. We are Irish. We are in the Tower of London. Cool. It's so strange that it's um set in real place. I didn't expect that. Item added to Amarita Memories. Well, I don't want to attack it. We can open that door. Oh. I should have run when I had the chance. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> I can't hit him. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what a good start. This life has been freed from this mortal coil. Retry. Wow, I didn't make it very far, did I? <laughs> Never claimed it was going to be no death run. Okay, so we've got to be aware of this guy. My little spirit fairy's gone. Just run, just run. Status menu, you can equip. Oh, it doesn't pause, no! Uh, right, equipment. Melee weapon one, bastard sword. Okay, uh, it's better than what I've got because I've got nothing, so. And some foot guards or i.e. shoes. Guard boots. Cool. And then we have um um written memories. Um and this is I guess our little tutorial section. So quick attacks use less key, but they do not cause much damage. Strong attacks inflict more damage, but they also consume more key. And they you more vulnerable after the attack. Once your key is gone, you cannot attack until it's replenished. So key is stamina, basically. On the field of battle, your own strength is the only thing which you can rely on. Take up arms and fight if you wish to live. Dash. L and X. Key is consumed while dashing. You will not be able to dash for a little while if your key runs out. Victory comes in but a fleeting instant. Cross the battlefield like the wind to strike your enemy down. However, take care not to lose all of your key and let your enemies surround you. Fair. Right, lock on R3. While locked onto an enemy, the camera will always centre on that enemy. The enemy's health and key will also be displayed. It is essential to watch and understand every movement if you are to win your battles. If you can understand your enemy, you can learn their strengths as well. And status menu 
You can change equipment and check your belong belongings on the status menu. No matter how powerful the sword, no matter how powerful the skill, you must equip the weapon and learn the skill for it to be of use. Before heading into battle, always remember to check your equipment. That is some good advice. Then there is people and background. And different things here. So, equipment items. Do we have... I think I lost whatever I got before. <laughs> uh, learn skills, skill customization, status. All right, yeah, so that's our stats. Titles. All right, and we are escaping the Tower of London. Oh shit. Right, and then our key is our father. Can I close this door? No. It's okay, because I'm going to have to go anyway. I guess it's time for me to fight him now. So if I... R3 to lock on. Fight. What are you doing? <laughs> Easy, with the sword. <laughs> So he also has a bastard sword. Now let me have a look at my equipment. Can I dual wheel swords? They're both no, but one of them's just a bit more broken. Does yellow mean I'm yeah equipped? No, I can't dual wheel swords. Okay. Now let's loot. L1 to guard, X to dodge. I can... Oh, sure I can hear someone. I think that was my cell, wasn't it? Yeah. Someone in here that I need to fight? No. Just dead people. Okay, I keep forgetting we're in the Tower of London, aren't we? God, this the, the it's so loud. It's <laughs> it keeps scaring me. So wait, L three to lock on. It is just all the normal controls. Um, block X to dodge. Right. Okay. Right. Cool. Let's go and find some clothes. so dark. I think I need the brightness up a bit. I love how we just kick the crates open. Right. Item shortcut. R change shortcut R2. Oh, okay, right. I think I need to do this in the menu, don't I? So... Right, I see. We've got two sets of shortcuts. Medicine recovers health when used. This hand lozenge features several varieties of medicinal herb mixed with fine honey. Guarding and evasion. Guarding enemy attacks avoids taking damage, but it does consume key. Okay. If all key is also in guarding, you sh your guard will be broken. Some attacks can take a large amount of key. Evasion lets you dodge an enemy attack, but like guarding, evasion also consumes key. Recklessly launching attack after attack oh, oh, excuse me, ultimately leads you to standing helpless. Sometimes a warrior must take the defensive to put them in a better position for the next attack. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't just button mash like I do, basically. Use an item. Yep, yeah, assign an item. Yeah. Always strive for greatness. Only preparation can extinguish adversity. Okay. Inspiring words. 
but I'm not prepared. I can't actually see. Let's put on our guard coat. Cool. Can't believe we're in the Tower of London. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's a guard. <laughs> I got him. And there's another guard up there and he didn't see any of that. Thank goodness he has got shit eyesight. Let's go. Um, I've forgotten how to dash. Yeah, that's it. But I don't want to use up all my key. Oh, he's got... Oh, that was alright. That wasn't hard. <laughs> I always do. I always get a full sense of confidence from tutorials. Wait, let me just have a quick look. Oh, you can't see. It's so dark. Why does it have to be night? Okay. Can I jump this guard? Oh, there's one in there as well, isn't there? Okay, right. I've just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Health. <laughs> okay, we got this, we got this. Right. Um, that's the block. Right, uh, this isn't a good place. All right, wait, he's gone. Just back up a second, back up, right. Like guards. Oh, he's coming. I feel like this should work as a disguise as well. Right. I'm ready. Oh, he's got a spear. Cool. We've got another pair of boots. Let's compare. Yeah, mine are better. <laughs> no. What is around this corner? A big hole in the wall. I'm sorry that I play so slowly. I get so freaked out. And, I mean, this is true. There is lots of spiral staircases in the Tower of London. me. <laughs> Jesus, why am I such a wimp? Um, what happened there? Oh, there's someone right through there. Can't see me. So I've just prayed. I guess that that is kind of like using a bonfire in Dark Souls, so you get your health back but all the enemies respawn i don't know but i'm guessing 
Right, let's go and kill this guy. There's a crate there and a door there. But I want to kill this dude first. We'll jump him. I don't know what he's looking at in there. Is he not coming back? Well, that's fine. A run car. Let's see. Let's put that as our second weapon. Does more damage. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still not sure. Um, how do I switch between my weapons? Changing weapons. R1 and sideways. Okay, right. Sorry, I should have been reading that out loud. Frig, I think I just use it in medicine. Oh, R1, not L1. Should I try it? Might as well. Oh, there's another guy there. Right, wait. Okay, yeah, we have to go that way. Oh, the other guy has moved. Nice. You guy, come with me. Well, it worked. Where's the other guy gone? Oh, he's like doing these rounds. There's only one other guy there, so let's just go and get him. Okay. So, it is important to try and not lose your health in silly ways because obviously you need to use medicine to make it better battle axe that sounds more like my jam let's try it oh that's got higher but also it's a bit slower yeah oh i'm not sure actually I'll try it. Where am I going? Oh, back up the stairs. And oh, okay, so this will be right. This is like the Dark Souls type thing where we'll we'll get to the edge, and then when we come get to the end of this door, it allows us back to the shrine to pray. Yeah, see, he's back alive now. Not sure about this axe. I feel like I'm. you need to be more skilled to use an axe because it's slower. So you can't just freak out with it. Can't wait to get out of this friggin' tower. There's only a limited amount of Amrita we can extract from this country, Kenny. Who's talking? Indeed. The pirates have served their purpose. The death of the leader of Japan will spark a war. And a wonderful opportunity to acquire more Amrita. Okay. Once tomorrow's execution takes place, we will get our hands on a compass that will lead us to that Amrita. 
With enough Amrita, we could subdue Spain. Perhaps even the world. <laughs> the day of the great is near. Stones. We must find them before our nation's rivals do. Edward Kelly, you will go to Japan. It seems it would be to our advantage to keep the wars alive. We cannot gain Amrita if blood does not flow. So, the good people of England want to conquer the world, and the start of it is killing. Japan. Well, Japan's leader. So we can steal their Amrito and then go from there. Hi. Oh, it's so funny. Like. I don't know. I love alternate history type stuff. Oh, that's where I came from, right? Okay. Which way? Okay, now I'm feeling like a maze. So that's. That looked like stairs to go down. We now have nearly a full set of armor. Background, the Black Tower. For the time of its creation, the Tower of London has served as both home for Britain's rulers and execution grounds for criminals. In the more recent times, it has also become inhabited by a large number of ravens, ever since it became prohibited to kill them within the tower. The reason, a certain wizard proclaiming that the killing of crows and ravens would lead to the destruction of England itself. Now, every inch of the tower is riddled with the birds, living, giving the entire area an eerie, unsettling air. I mean, it is an execution grounds, like, <laughs> what do you expect? Um, no, yeah, I was calling them crows before, they are ravens. Um, one of them was like, pulling on my bag, it was pretty cute. And, and they were like, raiding the bins and stuff but there's only there's not many i think there's about seven of them and they have like a raven keeper that lives there i'm lost right so that was the staircase down over here wasn't it now i was just wondering if this was gonna lead back to the other place that other door There's a guard right where <laughs> Chicken out. Feel like they probably would. Oh, I'll lead. Shit. Okay, so that's. Huh. I'm just trying in my head to make a map because that's where we were before. Uh, so I think them stairs could possibly open that door. Oh, it must be that way because there's nothing around here. Oh yes, we have a hat. Oh, I'm glad I came back up then. Oh wow, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> oh wow.
So the yellow obviously means there's an extra stat to it or something? I'm not sure. No, that, I don't think that is what it means at all. Right, down the stairs. Alright, there's two dudes here, isn't there, Anxie? Oh no, that's just a candle on the wall. <laughs> Right, okay, there's more stairs. Okay. Do I go down the stairs first or do I go in here first? It's just him. We can take him. I did press block. <laughs> the game don't care. Yeah. This is the shortcut. I hope that other guy's in that other room though. Now I suppose I don't need to go there. Because, I mean, we haven't really established what the shrines do yet. Because it's not like in Dark... Well, it might be, but at this point, it's not like in Dark Souls where you've got Esther. And you run out because I'm finding loads of medicine. Get me out of these towers, please. I want to get to Japan. New guard court. So that's got more equipment drop rate. So I guess we'll use that. I suppose it's kind of a bit of randomized looting. Right, so I know there's a guard around that corner there. Is it just the one? Nope, there's more. Wait for him to come back. Oh, he's not gonna come, is he? Oh, there's loads of them, okay. There's gotta be something around there though. I might just go. <laughs> oh my god, right, let's get him. Trousers, but they're not as good as mine. Coat. It's got more toughness, but I still think mine's better. And shitty trousers. Stones. Simple rock that's perfect size for throwing. Oh, oh, throw at enemies to deal damage. I wonder if that works for distractions as well. Look at us with our hat on, with our axe, our bloody axe. And so there's a guard over there. And there's a guard down there. That looks like the exit. Oh, 
Oh, I can't believe I just wasted that roll. Shall I try and fight two? I think it might just be for that box over there. Let's... Oh, God. Come around here. Oh, he's staggered. These games are infuriating. I didn't even realise my health was like low or whatever. Oh, I was doing so well. But that um, other door should be open now. So there's a guy in there, isn't there? I think. See, I like the fact that three hits is enough. But I do wonder whether I'm better off with the sword. If I can just kill this guy that's in here. Oh, he's already gone. I'll kill the guy at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I got a new hat. I feel like if I go the other way though, I might get a ranged weapon. So that's got more defense. So that's got more defense from behind and drop rate. So no, the one I've got's better. I'll try these two again because it's not hard for me to come back here really, is it? Oh frig, he went for two. You can tell I just like mash the buttons when I get close because I just go off doing this dance. About lax, really? Oh, it's different colour though. It's purple. It's better. Guard key reduction. Close combat key damage. Quick attack break. Close. I mean, I'll take it. Right, so then, like, after I've done that, I don't need to go back that way, so... Kinda hope for a, a thing so I could go in there and kill... Should I go in and kill those people? I, I can't take three at once. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, let's get him. Come on then. Oh, that's a mistake that I keep making. At least the medicine's quick enough to take. So there's only two people in there. Right, and that's one. Come and get me. Oh, I did try and dodge. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at um, dodging or anything. I am glad they've got such bad eyesight.
He is someone screaming. Right, a bunch of new gear. I've killed everyone, so let's see what it is. Um, new gloves. So... Barehanded attack damage. When am I ever going to do that? This one's better, as far as I can tell. Um, and then the new ones here... Defense plus three. Okay, dash key usage. Critical. I think that seems better. And then a new sword. So that one's 70 plus 11 break. That one's 79. So I will equip that sword, even though I'm using my axe anyway. But Right. Now all that's cleared out, so now next time I die, I only need to come here um, and go this way. So, there's no currency, like, there's no... Well, there is. I'm collecting something, I think. Right, I feel like we're getting towards the way out. We have to be. It always sucks when you miss something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I need to stop getting hit so I stop using so much medicine. Right, so there's a guard there. And there are some knights there. I'm never making it out of this tower, guys. I mean, this way looks better. <laughs> Ooh, fireballs! What was shooting them? Where on earth were them fireballs coming from? So there's a guy. <laughs> I've got no idea what happened to the camera there. It's like you will not go any further. Oh, there's some knights again. I suppose one knight is better than two, but still. There's some stairs there. There's a guard there. Are they actual knights or are they just suits of armor? Might be a good... Well, I'm sure I'll get that answered soon enough. Is this like traitor's gate or something? Or supposed to be? I think it is. This is insane having like this be in the Tower of London. I don't know why. Escape from the top of that tower. That tower? I don't know what tower he's looking at. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I go up to that door first. Like, it pays to get to know the layout and then you find shortcuts and you can find a more efficient way. There's a shrine, okay. So I pray this, everyone comes back, but I die, I come back here, I think, <laughs> I'm making that up. Okay, so my, my health has gone up to three medicines now, so. And this is a whole area that I feel like I've just skipped. I just can't see. Nothing in here. <sighs> yeah, they are knights. <laughs> Just opening up all the shortcuts, no idea what I'm doing. Stealthing my way through Neo right now. I'm guessing this is where I want to be then, if you're seeing the top of the tower. But usually when it says go to the top, you should go to the bottom and you might find some secrets. Ooh, uh, um, like torture dungeon. <laughs> Yikes. Is this person going to attack us? Or could we maybe talk to them? Hello? No, they're dead. Using monsters like that to fight wars. Guess they got no more use for us. His body just split in two. Oh god! He wanted to kill me from the start. Uh. Striking when the opponent is down and helpless. That's what they're trying to do to all of us who fought for queen and country. Um. Entertainment for the people. The citizens have little in the way of leisure activities. Their greatest entertainment takes the form of public executions of criminals. Whether young or old, rich or poor, not a soul in England would spare mercy for those held captive in the Tower of London. With a great hock of meat in one hand and a mug of ale in the other, they would cheer ecstatically when a criminal met his bloody end. It's not very nice, really. But I suppose it depends what they did, doesn't it? Right. Um, it said something about the killing blow as well. Killing strike near a downed enemy. Press triangle near a downed enemy will perform a killing strike. There is no place for mercy on the battlefield. If an enemy falls, strike when he is vulnerable to finish the fight. So, um, like the Dark Souls games, you get a lot of the law from reading the notes. So that's kind of why I'm having a special look at these. Now, I haven't used anything, have I? And I'm not going to lose anything if I don't go back to that thing. So, the question is... So, that's where I came from. Do I go back outside? Or do I go up? Well, I'm here, so I might as well go up, right? Such a 
such a good job when these guards wander around on their own. Oh god, there's another one. If I can just... Ugh! No, it's a knight! Oh my god, he killed me in two strikes. I should have opened that crate. <laughs> okay, I did not notice that that was a knight. I'm gonna have to be more careful. I tried to... <laughs> I tried to throw a stone at him. I suppose... Surely you were meant to come this way around because there's no way people are fighting those two knights yet, surely. Right, we're getting our dodge on. Staying safe. Oh my god, that did nothing. Oh, I was staggered. <laughs> wow, I'm not ready to fight those guys. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going back up there to get in that box. <laughs> and then running away. Oh no, he's right by the box. He's like, I know what she's doing. <laughs> to be fair, we could probably sneak around that way as well. It's just a weapon. Is that another knight there though? Or is that just a guy? Oh, there's some stairs there as well. So let's... Um Okay. No idea where I'm going now. Higher. <gasps> oh, we get into a boss. I'm not ready to fight a boss, Jesus. Yeah, oh fuck. <laughs> no. Oh, right, I need to get one and then go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> He's easier than the knights. Oh, no, maybe this is the real boss. That's a boss. Oh, do you know I'm not too bothered about continuing 
Um, let's see if it, it'll take us, but yeah. Right. Especially if you're gonna have to go through that whole thing again, and to be honest, I probably won't beat it. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. And then, if you enjoyed that, if you liked it, you can go and play it for yourself. You can beat the boss and you can see what happens next. And I can go and watch someone else do it. So, <laughs> now these games are very much about exploration and stuff. So obviously I haven't nearly explored this whole level. Um, there were some other stairs at the top of them stairs. There was outside in the courtyards. Um, there was a lot more to do, like... That's probably a hint to me. Um, I can't believe I thought I'd beat the boss. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think explore the rest of the level, then go and do the boss and see if you like the game. So, I don't know how much more in depth the combat goes in this one. I think it goes further because in, um, in the beta for the demo, uh, the beta for the devil, the beta for the sequel, the combat was so complex. It was like, I didn't get the hang of it. It was really difficult. Um, there was lots of cool little things for you to learn to be able to do combat better. So I feel like this will go deeper as well. I mean, we're not even in Japan yet. We're still in the bloody Tower of London. But I'm sorry that I didn't get to Japan. And I'm surprised that this guy's accent is Irish. When I've seen the, the posters for the game, I never expected of all the accents he could have had <laughs> that he was going to be Irish. So that's quite funny. Um, I like that Irish accent though. It's cool. So, okay. Right. I, th I think it's good. I like the level design. I, I, I like the fact that it's loosely based in real history and that um, cutscene there in that boss I think is just an example of what is to come based on the things that I did in the demo for the other game so yeah it's very much tip of the iceberg stuff this but it's kind of an example of how it's similar to the Souls games I think that you will end up with currency once you get into Japan maybe Again, I'm just speculating, but in the other game you did, it was the same as Souls, where if you die, you lose all your things, and then you have to go back and get them, and you can go to your shrine to buy upgrades and stuff like that. You can, I think you can sell, well, sell your loot that you don't need, or at least dispose of it there, like, stuff like that, so, if you like Souls games, I, yeah, go for it, definitely, um... I'm sorry that I didn't get to give you the true vibe of the game, but I hope you do feel that it's very atmospheric, because I'm feeling it right now. Um, and the next game that I'm playing is Outlast 2, which is, I can already tell you right now, going to be a very short video. I'm already scared in this game. <laughs> and this isn't horror, so... Yeah, I will see you for the next one. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.